final two creatures to review, and these are less detailed, and you can't ride them, and that is spiders and ghouls. Obviously, you can't ride spiders unless if it's Shelob. In this case, we might not see that unless if it's in the story mode. <laughs> Spider bodyguards will attack any grunts near you automatically, so you say you have a little... A little entourage, a little groupies of spiders around you. They can attack any grunts near you, trying to kill you. They'll jump on them, bite them in the neck, and then die in the process. Because, well, the enemy will grab them, throw them on the ground, splat, but he dies to the poisonous bite. So that is the cost of a spider. There's really only good for one kill and one kill only. Furthermore, you can sick spiders on nearby enemies in stealth, which is kind of... Well, it's just creepy to watch. You know, you're sicking a spider on someone. It climbs up their leg and up their chest and goes up to their neck, and they're trying to get them off, and then, oh, the bite. It's kind of almost horrific to watch, I must say. But that is what spiders can do. And similar, ghouls can be treated in the same way as bodyguards, as sicking them on unsuspecting enemies, and so on and so forth, just without the whole biting thing. They're going to be scratching them, just like you saw in the Shadow of Mordor. So that's what you've got for creatures. And here's some question and answers coming from the devs, and hope to answer some of them that you might have swimming around in your mind and that is here we go do beast masters have counters to creatures and this is of course an important question one we must ask if we decide to opt and use creatures often in our battles and the answer is yes and we've seen that in shadow of mordor where there is an ability that an orc can have maybe a feral tribe monster sorry monster uh there are they are monsters obviously but uruks that have monster slayer can take down a karagor immediately so look out for them Furthermore, Ologs, okay? Ologs, uh, they can also knock down you from a Karagor, and that's something to be watching out for. They can just smack you off and be, get down and, and fight me like a man kind of attitude. Next question is, are Karagoths, uh, and this is the DLC Karagors, if you've seen that, the improvement of the Karagors in the DLC for Shadow of Mordor. The question was asked, um... Are, are everything they do, is that something Karagors will do in Shadow of War? And the answer is yes, and they can do things similar, such as the pound stealth kill we saw in the DLC for Shadow of Mordor. The next question is, can you summon more than one Karagor? And obviously the answer is yes, and when you have Bestial Rage skill unlocked, you can summon more Karagors with a roar. Do armored Karagors have extra armor, or is it just aesthetic and for looks and the answer is they do have extra armor which is practical in battle and so it's not just the aesthetic next is can you have an armored dire caragor and the answer is yes and the overlords often sport them so look out for armored dire, dire caragors those sound rather nasty to fight and next is can drakes get armor and unfortunately no if you think from a logical perspective the answer is no because a drake can't really fly with extra weight of course so therefore the devs didn't put it in can you summon every creature into the throne room so you know when you're fighting an overlord and you need some backup and can you summon them in and the answer is yes you can summon them but almost all creatures not all of them obviously the drake won't fit or fly so the drake can't be summoned into the throne room and finally but not least and one of a specific note and i think significant and that is, can Uruks ride drakes? And talk about chaos if they could, and the answer is flatly no, but the Nazgul can. Of course, Nazgul are more storyline-prompted encounters, but no, Uruks won't be riding drakes anytime soon. They can't tame them like Talion can with the power of Wraith and Ring and Brandon power. Well, that's all I have for you guys today on Creatures. I hope you enjoyed that about mounted skills and more. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Subscribe for more as we release, or wait for the release of Shadow of War in just a few days. And I will be bringing you Shadow of War gameplay as well, so stick around the channel. I won't stop doing content for Shadow of War. This is Hero 87 signing off. Sign our psychic. Thanks for watching and don't forget to slam that like button with a bone shattering wraith punch to the face. The harder you smash it the better. No really, it, it really helps this channel out.